the reason that mutual fund portfolios tend to have a little bit more trouble recovering is because of the uh, individual investor dynamic. So mutual fund managers are at the mercy of inflows and outflows to the mutual funds. And unfortunately, when the market drops, that tends to increase the fear factor out there in the market and people tend to want to get out. So when they sell their mutual funds, the mutual fund makes their their cash readily available. So when the market is going down, if they're if they're seeing a mass exodus of people wanting to pull their money out of the fund, then they're going to be forced to sell some things that they might not have sold um, if they had not gotten that capital call. On the other end of the spectrum, when the market is doing really well, when there's a lot of greed out there in the market, when when the news is good and it looks like, you know, it's blue skies and Hey, everything's just going to keep going up. That's when people get confident to put money in. So they start putting money into the funds. And then the managers are forced, usually by the rules of the fund, they can't keep more than a certain percentage in cash. Now, each fund is different, has its own um, set of rules. But if they can't keep money in cash, they're forced to buy some things. And the things that they may have to choose uh, choose from to buy may be all at prices that are too high. Like if they just had freedom to choose the the money managers, that is, they might wait until they see a better entry point in some of the securities. So um, mutual fund managers, I think, for the most part, do a good job. It's just they're, they have that extra constraint of um, investor sentiment, whether people are Um, putting money in or taking money out. They have to deal with the flows of their funds. 